Hey guys, Maggie here from the Mediterranean Kitchenette and today we are making fasolakia lavera. What's that? Greek green beans. It's so good for you and so comforting and filling at the same time. So we're gonna need half a kilo frozen green beans, 350 grams tomato pulp, 2 tablespoons chopped parsley, 2 diced carrots, 1 diced potato, 1 diced onion, 1 diced garlic, 8 tablespoons of olive oil, and 2 teaspoons of salt. That's it. All right, so let's use a medium size deep pot for this one. And we're gonna start by adding seven tablespoons of olive oil. So let's saute the diced onion for about two minutes over high heat while stirring all the time. Now, let's go ahead and add the carrots and we're gonna give them about two more minutes. At this point, you wanna lower the heat to medium and now add the diced potato and cook that for about two minutes. We would love to hear from you. Please leave your comments below. Thank you so much guys and all the best from Maggie and Eva from Athens, Greece. Now, it's time to add the garlic and here you want to be really quick all right you saute the garlic only for 30 seconds or so while stirring constantly and that's because garlic well it burns really really easily so now let's add the tomato pulp and cook for three more minutes and now it's time to add the beans. Add those and stir gently just to combine all the ingredients nicely and cook those for about one minute. The final touch is adding the parsley and the salt. And the final step is adding half a glass of water. So guys, give it a little stir, bring the stew to boil. And here, it's very, very important, you wanna lower the heat to the lowest possible. Cover your pan and just let it simmer for about 45 minutes. So our dish should have the consistency of a thick stew in which the sauce is just enough to soak your bread in it. And before serving, make sure to sprinkle it generously with a bit of fresh olive oil on the top. I know I say this every single time, guys, <laughs> but it's really how we eat it here in Greece. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, both vegan and vegetarian uh, friendly dish. And as always, I'm going to link the detailed recipe for you guys in the description below. And on our blog, The Bright Side of Life, you can find so many delicious, healthy and easy Mediterranean diet recipes. So feel free to check it out. Thank you so much for being here and for your support. If you fancy, subscribe for more. Thank you so much, guys, and see you next time.